Greetings. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a photo gallery to uh, a page on your website. So I'm going to use the Adequichi School website, and I'm going to create a new page and then add a gallery. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Content and click Pages. And I'm quickly going to create a new page. So I'm going to click Add New Content. And I'm going to make sure that the content type is advanced content. That should be set by default, but I'll make sure that is set on all your pages. And then we're going to get a photo gallery. So I'll give it a title, and the menu text will be the same thing. I'm going to put it under Home. And then this is where the gallery is going to go. That's where the gallery is going to go. So I'm going to click Submit. And now I have a page uh, under Home that is waiting for my photo gallery. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to click under Content once again. I'm going to go to Gallery. And this is where you create your photo galleries. So these are all the photo galleries we have here. And again, this little guy means that there's a drop down. So there's an open house. Um, and I'm actually going to create a sub gallery. And I'm going to say, I'm going to call it Soccer. Um, I'll put it underneath, I'll put it underneath Images 2012, 2013. And this is, sorry, this is a directory name, so it shouldn't have any caps. Soccer. And then the gallery title can have, um, you know, it's a regular human readable title, Boys Soccer Photos. You can leave a comment if you'd like. And then just stick with the default template. And I'm going to click Save. And you've actually created the gallery then. So now if you want to add images, you simply can click Add Images. Um, and I'm going to my desktop. I'm going to Fall Soccer 2012. And I'm just going to grab a few images. Let's see, I'll grab this one. I'm going to hold Command on a Mac, Control on a PC to grab a couple images. Um, I want to make sure there's, let's see. Three images. I'll click Open. And they'll start to upload. Now I've set it up so that as they upload, they automatically resize to 800 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. But the three images are loaded. And now we can click on gallery or list or gallery here. And we'll click on list. And we will now see under images 2012, 2013, the soccer gallery. So here's the, the code that's required um, to embed the gallery on the page. So I'm going to highlight that and then copy it using Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC. I'm going to go back to my photo gallery page that I created earlier. And I, instead of gallery, I'm going to enter my code. I'm going to paste it using Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC. I'm going to hit Apply. It will tell me that my changes have been made. There it is. Okay. And then we'll go to the Adequichi School. I'll refresh the page. And after it refreshes, I'll go under Home, and click on the new page called Photo Gallery, and there's the gallery. And the title of the gallery, the human readable title, is there. Any comments you'd like about the gallery, a description of the event, and then when people click on it, 
the images, as you'll see, are automatically resized to 800 by 600, and it comes up in a nice slideshow. You can pause, play, advance quicker. So when they're in there, you can click next. And um, that's it. On this page, I can actually view the image. That's just the thumbnail image. So we can set it so that people can download images if you'd like um, or not. Now, I'm going to submit that page. And I'm actually going to delete that page because it was just for testing. And I'm going to go back to the photo gallery and show you how to. I'm going to click on gallery. And I'm going to show you how to just some options. So under, if you click under options, you'll see that um, before upload, resize big images to these maximum sizes. So that's how it, you know, that's how, that's where you set the program to auto size or auto resize. And that everything else you can just sort of leave. And that's about all there is to the gallery. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add a gallery to a news article quickly because there's something slightly different that you need to do. Um, so I'm going to go to news. So I'm going to put this gallery in, in a news article. Okay, so we've got news here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new article, and I'm going to call it Great Soccer Game. I can choose the category, and this is where I want to put the gallery. Um, the only problem is if you just do it this way, it will break the site generally. So I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go back to the home page here. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it actually breaks the site when you try to embed a gallery, and that's it's because the the news the the photo gallery module has not yet been updated. Uh, to keep up with the new newest version of CMS Made Simple. So I'm sure this bug will go away in the future, but currently um, there's no way of automatically avoiding the bug. So what we need to do is if that shows up, um, first of all, you'll still be able to access the back end of the website, and you do that by typing in your website address, oqsvt.com, and then backslash admin. And that'll get you. So even though the even though the front end is not working here, the back end is still editable. And again, you get there by just putting backslash admin. Okay. And then you're going to go back to your news. So go to content and news. And we're going to fix that. And the way we fix it is by clicking on the news article. And we're just going to use a slightly different code. So it's going to be CMS underscore module module equals gallery we're going to put that in single quotation marks and then the directory we will apply that and then we'll go back and refresh the page you'll notice now that the page is now working and not only is the page working, but we have the great photo gallery embedded right here in the news article. And once again, the photos play perfectly fine. So, one last thing. I'm going to submit this news article so that I can then delete it. Uh, one last thing about the gallery, you'll notice that we do have this great slider, slideshow. This is fed from the gallery, specifically from the headers um, sub-gallery. So you've got a series of sub-galleries and the header sub-gallery is what's feeding this. 
So if you want to add new photos to that slider, you simply click Add Images, um, and this is the gallery, and that will add them. I'll actually just give you an example. Click Add Images. Let's see if we get this. Soccer photo. And then click. It'll come up. We'll move that one up. We'll go back, refresh the page. And there it is. <laughs> so it's pretty easy to add new photos. And again, I'll delete that. So that's how you use the photo gallery on your CMS Made Simple site.